Now, our next story is so incredible, it sounds like something straight out of a Hollywood film. Um, 24 years ago, new parents Celeste and Mornay Nurse had their three-day-old daughter, Zephanie, stolen from them. But 17 years later, in an incredible turn of events, they were reunited after a selfie revealed more than they could have ever imagined. Now, we spoke to Celeste and Mornay back in 2015 about their unbelievable story. And today they join us again, but this time alongside their two daughters, Cassidy and Zephanie. Good morning to all of you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm going to get straight into the question. I'm going to talk to Celeste and Mornay. Take us back to 1997, um, at the beginning of this story, when your baby was actually stolen. How do you actually remember this story? Um, currently now, the memory is still fresh in my mind. Um, I can remember everything that happened that day. You know, the, 20, the 29th of April, 1997, uh, with my baby Zephanie Nurse, which was still asleep in the cot. So I think that's something that will, it will always be in your, it's something you can't forget, you know? It stays there for, forever for the rest of your life. So talk us through uh, how this came about. So you never gave up hope of finding your missing daughter. And then Cassidy, uh, met your long-lost daughter at high school, they took a selfie together, and then she came home and just showed you? Yes, what happened is she took a selfie, took the picture, but there's a lot of things that happened before that, and the selfie came out afterwards, you know? So my husband started doing the investigation, and that's how everything came to post. But the selfie was taken afterwards. And Cassidy, you always knew that you had a sibling that had been stolen. At what point did you realise, I think this is my sister? Was it the selfie or did you have a feeling beforehand? Well, the feeling... My parents always told me that um, I had a missing sister growing up and I never met her. But I always had a feeling in my heart that I was, that I would meet her. I just didn't know that it was going to happen so soon. I knew it was going to happen, but no one expects it to be so soon. And the minute I found her, I was actually very relieved. I felt a lot of emotions. I was overwhelmed and so much, I had such an adrenaline inside of me because I didn't know what to think and I didn't know who to turn to because I just felt so excited and emotional and scared and my heart was just pounding out of my chest. It's unbelievable. And Zephanie, at the point where you decided, yeah, I'm going to do this DNA test, did you think that they were going to be your parents or did you think this was a far-fetched idea? How was you feeling at the time? At the time when they presented to me that they were going to do the DNA test, uh, no way in my normal right mind of my 17 years of age at that time could I ever possibly think that this DNA test could actually be positive because life, life was so normal for me. And yeah, it just it shook my entire world when the results came back. Yeah, it was, it was shocking. It must have been so difficult because you can't suddenly just stop loving the person who has brought you up, who has brought you into this life, and you see that person as your mother. Then to know that she actually kidnapped you, how, I just can't imagine a child at your age at that time dealing with that. And as an adult now, you've got children as, of your own. How, how are you coping now? Are we, are we, in, are we in a good place? We are definitely in a good space right now. And myself being a mom to a daughter and a son has definitely contributed its part to us having the relationship that we have right now. 
And it is really just broadening up my mind that there's more people involved and more people involved in their lives. So being a mom, being a parent has really um, opened up my heart, my mind to both my moms and my daddies, but mostly to my biological family as well. And, and Celeste Morne, it must have been so difficult for you because on one hand, you're elated because you've finally found your daughter. Yeah. But on another, she has, she's had a mother and a father all her life. So she's, so it's, there must have been a disconnect from her saying, well, I, I, I don't know you, I don't, I don't know you guys, you know? So that must have been hard because you just want to smother her with love. Now you've got her back. Yeah, correct, Dermot. Um, it was really difficult. It was hard to consume everything that was happening at the time. Uh, for me as a father, raising other kids, um, looking at Zephanie on the day when I met her, it was phenomenal. It was unbelievable. I mean, I could see every movement, the way she spoke, the way she laughed, the way she walked, everything about her was just... Celeste, um, even when she speaks, um, Cassidy and Zephanie, you cannot tell when you're in a separate room, you know. I always get confused, you know, who's calling, who's calling. So um, it wasn't easy in the beginning. There was a lot of heartache. Uh, there was happiness at the same time, but uh, currently things are good. I mean, this absolutely shook your whole world, didn't it? Think you both split up. I know you're back together and you've remarried now, which is amazing, but it actually shook all of your worlds, didn't it? And Cassidy, can I just ask you, what's your relationship like with your sister now? My relationship, it's, it's actually very, it's very good. We're very close. And throughout the years that we have spent together, we've, we, the bond has grown so much. And we do see one another from time to time. Our relationship is actually very good. And we share so much things, eh? Yes, we do, we definitely do. <laughs> <laughs> and Stephanie, it must be uh, so surreal for you because, you know, you're, like you said, you're bringing up your children. And, and like you said, they... they uh, your mother's, you know, your other mother is still your other mother, and your your kids have have literally two. Well, I'd say six sets of grandparents. Yeah. You know, they've so you know you've got you've got your mummy and daddy and your mummy and daddy. So you're still in touch with. I think you live with your other father, don't you? Uh, yes, I I do still um, live with my father that raised me, and yeah. This is an absolute fascinating story. And I just want to say thank you so much for sharing it with us. It's unbelievable. I'm so happy that you're, you're all a big family. It's all, all, all worked out really, really well. But thank you so much for joining us. Absolutely incredible story. Thank you, guys. That is the longest pauses oh I've my God. ever, I ever have, seen. I like, could that literally was like... have flown to South Africa <laughs> in the time it took them to answer. That was so, so long, wasn't it? But what, what a fascinating story. I've done a show where we spoke to the International Space Station <laughs> in 2015. <laughs> it was quicker to get a response from space than it was from there.